Justice Binta Nyako has fixed a date to rule on an application seeking to transfer the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Namdi Kanu, out of the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS. The judge of the Abuja Federal High Court fixed May 20 for the ruling. Justice Nyako adjourned for ruling after listing or listening to arguments on the application. Kanu's lead counsel, Aloy Jumako, informed the court that Kanu's continued detention in the DSS facility would mitigate the acceleration hearing ordered by the court. Kanu, who has been in detention since 2021, in a motion argued by Jumako, requested the court to restore the bill granted him in 2017 by the same judge. He told the court that contrary to claim of the federal government, he did not jump bail by or breach any of the conditions of bail, but that he had to escape out of the country when the military allegedly invaded his house. The detained airport leader also said he would have been killed if he had not escaped the way he did and accused the federal government of misleading the court to get the bail revoked in his absence. He also asked the court to set aside the arrest warrant issued against him by the court while he was out of the country. In a separate motion also argued by his legal team, Kanu demanded his removal from the custody of the DSS to a house arrest or, in the alternative, to remand him in prison. We were able to avoid the situation that if it had happened in court today, it would have been a deviation from Section 36 of the Constitution, which guaranteed every Nigerian the right to fair trial. The prosecution was forcing a situation on the court today that trial should continue or should proceed today. But our position was this, which comports with the law, that we have not had any opportunity we have made this very clear. It is not about having access to our client. We do have access, but our access is monitored, hampered to the point that we are unable to discuss with him within this, that zone of confidentiality that is guaranteed between a lawyer and his client and that enhances the defense we shall prepare to properly defend him against charges that carry the death penalty. So our position comports with the law, with section 36 of the concession, that unless fair hearing can be guaranteed, no Nigerian can be subjected to any trial. You can check it out. We are not making it up. Speaking with journalists after the proceedings, a House of Representatives member, Honorable Ikenga Ugochinyere, praised the legal team of Kanu for standing to get fair trial for their client, adding that under the present circumstances, there would be no opportunity for Kanu to get better deal when his hands and legs are tied in the custody of the DSS. He appealed to President Bola Tinubu to end the trial logjam by ensuring out-of-court settlement for general peace to reign in the country. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.